Jews and Arab countries are constantly under threat from the ruling government. Now part of a small Jewish community that remains in Yemen has come home to Israel. We are here in the uh, Ben Gurion airport where uh, we are meeting new immigrants, 10 new immigrants. They came from Yemen in a uh, secret confidential uh, operation bringing them to Israel. They're new immigrants and we met them here in the Ben Gurion airport near Tel Aviv. <laughs> One is a single man, a single young man, and the second family, it's nine people. It's the family of Said Israel. Uh, they're coming from Raida. Said was one of the leaders of the Jewish community there. Uh, they tried to kill him, and he runs away from uh, uh, Raida to Tsan'a, and he decided to arrive to Israel. <laughs> <laughs> the Aliyah immigration operation was kept secret in order to prevent attempts to stop the immigration. It's a Muslim country, okay. Second thing, the uh, president sees the Jews as his um, own people and as a Muslim men, he wants to be able to keep them, to control them. Despite the increase in harassments of Jews by Muslims in Yemen, it's not so simple to convince the Jews living there that it's time for them to come home to Israel. The situation was always difficult there, but the problem was that they didn't realize that, like they do today, it was always difficult. We hope that they all immigrate with all the conditions necessary to live here. The Jewish community suffered uh, many problems during the last months, including the murder of one of the members of, of the community. So now we are trying to do our to offer them and to bring them the the possibility to build their new home in Israel. Until recently, Said, today's new immigrant, was close with the Satmir Hasidim, who opposed the Zionist state. Said himself was afraid that he will not be able to raise his children in an observant atmosphere, and that issue too was taken care of as part of the absorption plan. And their needs are many. They're a very observant community. They're very committed to Judaism. That is uh, like most Jewish communities, when you're you're in a place, at least it's something known. Coming to even to Eretz Israel is, is difficult. It's taking that step, which puts you in a position where you're you don't know the language properly, even though they speak very biblical, very interesting Hebrew. The culture is very different, and they're open to many things that they they just don't see in Yemen. And to convince them to leave their precarious but known community was something that was a big job and um, the Federation in the States, the Yemeni Federation, did a lot of work in trying to explain to them that um, Israel is the right place to be today, especially because of what's going on in the world and the Jews are safe in Israel as opposed to other places. And as things became more problematic there, they understood that financially and security-wise they would be better off here in Israel. And what's next? There are more than 250 Jews still living in Yemen, and hopefully, they too will be coming home soon. The fact that Said is arriving to Israel and he is one of the leaders of the community, it's very important because when the people will know that he's here, they will come after him. If these 10 are absorbed nicely and receive what they need, they can influence and tell the others, come, everything's ready for you. The other wants to come, we're working to bring them. I can't give any more details about that.